honeybees. Today I'm going to be talking about my top five concealers of all time. These are concealers that I've repurchased, I use on a daily basis for highlight, for concealer, for blemishes, for under eye, pretty much anything you can think of that you use concealer for. I've used these babies for. Three of them are high-end, two are drugstore. So I'm going to first start off with the drugstore versions. First off, I'm not sure if this is sold in this packaging anymore, so don't shoot me if this isn't around anymore, but this is the CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ageless Eye Concealer. I have it in shade 205, and I believe this is the lightest shade. Reason I get the lightest shade is because I really like to have a strong highlight under my eyes sometimes, and this one does magic. It's getting a little old, so hence the crack but usually it's a swirl of concealer and hydration and it's so so creamy it's still very creamy and I've had this for a while um, so if you have dry under eyes you most likely won't have an issue with this one it's super creamy so you can tell it's very very pale um, but I would use this more as a highlighting concealer however there are a good number of colors so if you're looking for it to be a little bit more natural then you will definitely find one very creamy great coverage and I usually will use this with my finger um, I just think it blends in the best with my finger because it's so so creamy and sometimes really very creamy concealers like this can crease I don't really have an issue with it but if you're prone to creasing under the eye, I might not suggest this because it's really, really creamy. Um, but definitely a good one for drugstore. Very impressed by this. The next one for drugstore I'm sure will come at no surprise to any of you because so many of us love it here on YouTube. It's the uh, Instant Age Rewind Eraser for Dark Circles from Maybelline. I just repurchased a new one. Love the brightening one of this which is just like a pink color. But I do actually like the concealer versions as well and this is in the shade Light. And it's just like the perfect tone for me. I've repurchased this at least, I think this is my third time. And this is so true to my coloring that you might not even be able to see it swatched on my hand. It's right here. Can you see that? It's really true to my coloring. It has a little sponge tip applicator, so it feels really good going on. I'll sometimes take this all the way off and just have a little nozzle on the top because I feel like some product gets wasted when you use the little sponge here. And some people are concerned with sanitary I'm not really concerned about that at all, especially since I only use this on my own eyes. I'm not using this on anyone else, so I don't see the issue there. Um, but I really, really do like how this feels underneath my eyes. It really gives me a gorgeous brightness under my eyes. Great coverage, especially for a drugstore. And you can get this on sale all the time. I got this for 40% off at Ulta. So definitely check your local drugstores or Ulta for this amazing concealer. Definitely suggest this one or the brightener. Now on to my high-end favorites, and I gotta admit, these probably are what I reach for the most lately. This is what I'm wearing today. Love this baby. It's the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Light Number no. 2 Vanilla. Oh my gosh, this stuff is incredible. It gives the most beautiful, you can see, like I have a serious highlight, beautiful glow going on under my eyes today, and that's because of this bad boy great coverage you don't need that much it's very pigmented and I like the applicator it's a doe foot applicator and again this is slightly lighter than my natural skin tone because I do like a more highlight effect when I apply under eye concealer I have used this on blemishes as well I had a nice little big blemish on the top of my forehead this whole week and this really did cover it beautifully and it lasted very well for some reason, I always feel like concealer doesn't last as well on blemishes rather than under my eye or around my face in normal highlighting areas. So I feel like it probably isn't the best for a blemish, but I still liked the coverage it gave. And I will repurchase this over and over again for my under eye area because I just think it's magical. And every time I wear it, someone asks me what I'm wearing as my concealer. So if that doesn't convince you, I don't know what will, but this baby is magic in a bottle. If you're looking for some serious coverage, you're going to really like the next two high-end concealers I have for you. So the first one is the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye with Collagen and Vitamin C and K. This baby is amazing when it comes to coverage. It has much more of a dewy finish. 
It's highly, highly moisturizing because of the skincare properties to it, like the vitamin C and K. So if you have dry under eyes, again, I really think this is going to be awesome for you. I'm in the color neutral medium, which is really close to my natural skin tone. So if I'm just looking for coverage under my eye or on a blemish, this is great. I will say that I always have to set this because I don't like to look shiny under my eyes and this doesn't ever dull down to a matte finish unless, unless I set it. So if you don't like setting your under eye, then don't get this. But if you're fine with it, then it will last amazing on you. It will look great. Coverage is amazing. It won't crease. And you need the smallest amount. Let me just show you how much I put on here. Like, see that little tiny dot right there? That will cover both eyes. That's how much coverage this is. Um, it's just in like a little squeezy tube, so I really feel like there's a nice amount of product in this. This has 0.28 fluid ounces. I should tell you what all of these had. This one has 0.22 ounces, the NARS does, so this still has a little bit more. The Maybelline has 0.2, so a little less than all of the high end. And then this one is 0.3, so this has the most, the cover girl one. But I really do think this will last me forever because the smallest amount is all you need. And let me just show you it on my hand here. So I don't know if you can see that, but it has like a shiny moisturizing finish to it. It's right here on my hands. I'm not sure you can see that, but I also want to tell you that the It Cosmetics one is cruelty free. No animal testing is done um, to make this product. So if you're concerned with that, then It Cosmetics is your brand. Okay, last favorite is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Concealer. I really like stick concealers that work. I've had a hard time with stick concealers in the past, um, especially with lasting power and running out of them really quick. But because this one is such good coverage, I don't have to use that much of it. And because it's waterproof, it lasts me really well in the Arizona sun. So for those two reasons, this is why it's my favorite. I love the sleek packaging in this purple tube with the gold accents. I am in the shade Fair Light. Again, it's about a shade lighter than my normal skin tone. And it's just in a tube like this. Very creamy. A little bit more yellow tone than the others that I have, but definitely matches me well. It's very creamy, very easily blended. Feels wonderful under the eyes, covers amazingly. This one is probably my go-to for blemishes because it really covers awesome. Um, I like the It Cosmetics one too for covering blemishes, but because it's so shiny, I would have to set it. So those are my top five concealers. If you guys have any questions pertaining to these concealers or if you have other top five videos you want me to do in the future, please comment down below and like this video. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram because I'm always posting, especially on Twitter and Instagram, and all those will be down below. Love you guys and see you very soon. Bye.